What's up YouTube? This is Cody here with iPhoneHacks.com and today I'm going to be showing you guys all of the gestures found in iOS 7. So first of all, you can swipe anywhere here on the lock screen to unlock your device. It doesn't have to be on that slider text right there at the bottom. Now if we jump into the mail app, you can actually go back a screen by swiping your finger from the left edge towards the right. And this can actually be done in other apps as well, like notes, settings, and messages. It's just an alternative for tapping the back button at the top right. But it isn't enabled in all apps due to possible conflicts. Now a swipe up from the bottom of the screen brings up the newly introduced control center that gives us quick access to system toggles and a lot more functions. So if we swipe that back down and do a swipe from the top half of the home screen, it's going to bring up the new spotlight search interface, so you don't have to swipe over to the left anymore from the first page of your springboard it's now accessible on every page. Now let's open up Safari and swipe from the left edge and this is going to take us back a page and then if you swipe from the right you're gonna go forward a page and if we go into the tab view here in Safari we can swipe a tab from the right to the left and close the tab just like that. Next up is the app switcher and if you haven't seen this yet you just swipe up on the open app to close it out and you can do this with multiple fingers as well up to three now if we pull down the notification center here, you can actually switch through the tabs just by swiping your finger horizontally back and forth, just like that. You don't have to tap on the actual tabs up at the top. So let's get out of that and go into the Photos app. Now here in the Photos app, you can long tap on the thumbnail to view a larger preview. And as you slide your finger over the list, you'll see the preview update for the thumbnail under your finger. So in reality, gestures are a great feature to have for power users and it's great to see Apple add more of them to iOS. They do, however, face a problem of discoverability. So I wonder how Apple's going to tackle that problem for first time users, especially for features that use gesture as a sole method of activation. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Alright guys, until next time, this is Cody with iPhoneHacks.com.